Here on this Tobacco University video, we're going to go over the thin pruning technique for cannabis. All right, let's go over the thin technique, which stands for F, I, I missed, pruning method for cannabis production here. So the goal of this technique is to create multiple tops. And we can kind of see that pictured here quite well. Uh, uh, this multiple tops is great if you're looking at cloning, for example. Uh, it's typically done uh, when you're cutting or topping a plant, but not really making a clean cut because uh, true topping would eliminate this kind of center portion here and only allow for kind of like two main branch points to kind of come out. Uh, here we're looking at multiple branching points. As if the grower feels like they look back and kind of did topping, but kind of like missed that clean cut is kind of, kind of what the name implies. We can also see here multiple kind of points growing out, and this is why it can be good for cloning. However, this is technique is not recommended for autoflowers. So again, we're seeing some other examples here. The reason why it's not recommended for autoflowers is because it will delay plant growth. This will result in lost plant matter uh, production days, which will mean that for autoflowers, it will likely not reach its full potential. So if this te technique is used on autoflowers, the advantages will likely be mitigated by the required increase of plant numbers required to make up the difference. So again, uh, you could do it with autoflowers, but not recommended simply because of the delay in time that's going to occur. Now that top section, that kind of portion here, uh, this is what it looks like, just to kind of give you an idea of what you're kind of removing. When selecting a top to prune, growers should be looking for a tip that has four full nodes and is developing a fifth. Look specifically at the small early um, kind of branch points in the leaf cluster. This is kind of looking right down here. Typically, five to six nodes up on the plant will allow for a maximum efficiency when utilizing this technique. The plant stem tip remaining will grow back slowly into multiple new branch points. Oftentimes, there can be some discoloration due to the physical damage of the area, but again, something you really should not be that concerned with. The timing of this, so when we're looking at, you know, when we go through and implement this technique, there may be no set exact time, uh, but the general rule is start two to three nodes up the plant. You really don't want to do it much earlier um, than that. This can result in a box-like plant of about two and a half feet wide and tall, just to give you a general idea. And it might depend on your uh, strain, your variety you might be growing, and also the conditions, how quick you're flipping them over into flowering. But it just kind of gives you an idea of kind of what you're looking for uh, when topping uh, and kind of this thimming technique, because it is a modified version of topping. Now, what if we bend and then thin? Uh, some growers will actually take the plants, bend them, as we can see here at 90 degrees, and then thin their plants to maximize the plant space while minimizing the overall plant height. This technique can also produce many growing points that can allow for efficient production of plant material, particularly for cloning purposes. This is where you're taking the bending portion, growing this portion out, and then thinning other portions here, again, to get more branch points. FIM is part of a complete pruning method. So uh, FIM can be used in conjunction with other pruning methods. So I think just because you're FIMing, that's it. It's all you can do. Uh, you can utilize it or correlate it with other techniques. Often used with the screen of green because you're trying to get those multiple branch points going. Mother plants for cloning. And also, again, as I said, a modified version of topping. And this kind of shows a good example of taking the same plant here. If you were going to thin the plant, you'd cut it right here, uh, level. If you were topping the plant, though, you'd cut it lower here, uh, closer to where those that um, actual branching uh, leaf petiole nodes kind of come into intersection there. So again, thinning, we're going to cut it up here. Topping, we'd cut it lower than that. Lastly, we're looking at the plant hormone shifts associated with the thin technique. Uh, the cut results in many new growing tips, and this kind of looks like a zoomed in version here. Again, if we were topping, we'd be cutting right here, uh, but thinning were up here, and that's allowing these multiple little branch points to kind of grow out, which is great for having uh, these new uh, meristems, new areas that could be used particularly for cloning, or if you're looking at that screen of green method where you kind of need a lot of these little branch points to kind of go through and work your way through the screen, this is another way that it could be implemented. Hopefully this gave you some good information about the thin technique for cannabis cloning.